beloved brothers and sisters as we are in the so at the peak summer month in india or if you are in middle east this uh, month of may as june are the hottest month but praise god we have the bible that is the the manual safety manual provided by our loving living god the great jehovah the great creator the great i am who i am yes the great jehovah has made the safety manual and given to us as a love letter bible is the love letter of the god almighty who was manifested in flesh he came in this world in the form of jesus how was he he was full of love full of compassion merciful gracious yes oh he was full of majesty oh miracle working power full of mercy and praise god he has provided the safety manual the safety handbook the safety measures all safety measures to live in this turbulent world in this troublesome world his children to be protected preserved promoted prospered purified lord jesus has laid all the safety measures we shall see amidst this hot season among the uh, when the sun is very hot amidst the heat 45 46 47 in middle east i worked for around 12 years it was 50 52 sometimes 55 in the open area terrible horrible heat but praise god jesus christ our creator the almighty maker of heaven and earth who has created all of us he has shed his blood his last drop of his precious powerful pure blood of the lamb of god slain from the foundation of the world has been shed for us because he loves us deeply and dearly my you my beloved brother you my beloved sister you my beloved young man you my beloved young woman are you feeling lonely are you are you feeling helpless are you feeling hopeless are you feeling like an orphan nobody is going to take care of me i have no future my future is dark jesus the light of the world will enlighten your future he will brighten your future he has big bright bigger plans for you for you for your future for your children for your family for your finances let's see jesus christ has kept the safety measures in his word the bible psalms 121 was 5 to 7 says the lord is your keeper the lord is your shade at your right hand yes there is someone who is at your right hand protecting you preserving you promoting you prospering you purifying you yes is the holy almighty merciful full of compassion full of love lord jesus he is at you he is your shade at your right hand the sun shall not strike you by day nor moon by night the lord shall preserve you from all evil he shall preserve you so he shall preserve your going out and your coming in his name is to be praised Yes when the sun is very hot you are going for your work for your office for your school for your college for the hospital for the court cases for the ministry you are traveling all oh, there is so much heat you are feeling sweat much humidity is there you are sweating profusely cheer up my brother cheer up my sister 
word of God says, The sun shall not strike you by day, nor moon by the night. Yes. And Psalm 63 verse 7 says, Because you have been my help. Psalm 63 verse 7 says, Because you have been my help, Therefore, in the shadow of your wings, I will rejoice. You will rejoice in the shadow. As umbrella gives you the shadow from the heat, from the rain, the Lord Jesus is the shelter. He's the shade. He's the shield. He's the shadow. He's your strong tower. He's your strength. He's your shelter. He's your shield. Oh, he's your uh, shepherd. He will make you lie down in green pastures. He will lead you beside the quiet, still waters because he loves you. He loves you. My brother, my sister, you are precious. You are blood-bought property of Jesus Christ of Master, you are loved deeply, dear. Yes, in the shadow of his wings, you will rejoice. You might have seen the chickens, right? The hens. What does that little chicken do? When some uh, eagle comes, when they sense danger, their mother makes a peculiar noise and calls every of his chicks, come, 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 come. And they come under their, under her mother's wings. You will come. You are shadowed. Oh, the Lord Jesus is your shade. The Lord Jesus is your shelter. The Lord Jesus is your strength. The Lord Jesus is your shield. The Lord Jesus is your shepherd who will protect you. Your protection is his responsibility from the evil power, from the wicked, cruel, jealous colleagues, your neighbors, maybe your relatives have turned against you because you are living an upright, righteous, just life, life, walking according to the word of God, keeping the commandments of Bible of the Jesus Christ. But people may not understand. They may persecute you. Why he's always talking? Why he's telling about, always about sharing and spreading the love of Jesus? Why? They might uh, trouble you. They might torment you. They might torture you. They might persecute you. You might be going through pain, pressures, uh, or terrible uh, pressure, persecution. Cheer up. You have a refuge from all the dangerous situation, from all the discouragement, from all the depressing situation, from the, all the depressing people, you have a refuge. You have a refuge from all the diseases of this world. Let's see another safety measure, what he has given us in his safety manual, the Bible. Hallelujah. God's love letter to, my, to the whole humanity. The Bible, read your Bible, you will be blessed. Daily read your Bible, my brother and sister, you will be blessed, surely blessed. Oh, you will be bestowed with bigger, brighter blessings. Your territory will expand. Your ministry will expand. Your job, your salary will increase. Because the great I am, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, is keeping his eyes to increase you, to settle you, to strengthen you, to shield you, to shelter you, to shadow you. You are protected, preserved, prospered in the shadow of his wings. Another safety measure we shall read in Isaiah chapter 25 was. 4 and 5. Isaiah chapter 25 verse 4 and 5 says, For you have been a strength to the poor, a strength to the needy in his distress, a refuge from the storm, a shade from the heat. Heat. He's a shade from the heat. Terrible persecution, terrible pain, terrible pressures in your ministry, in your office, in your college, in your 
work spot, in your neighborhood. Cheer up. There is a shade from those heated situations, circumstances. And uh, further it says, for the blast of the terrible one is as, as a storm against the wall. You will reduce the noise of the terrible nations as a heat in a dry place as a heat in the shadow of a cloud the songs of the terrible ones will be quietened will be diminished the one who stopped the mouth of lion is going to protect you amidst the heat the environment the climate very hot i when i first time reached kuwait I didn't have any relatives or friends in Middle East. As I am from North India, my Central India, Chhattisgarh, there were very less, very, very few people and I didn't have any contact, so I didn't know what is Middle East, how working in Gulf. So when I reached 20th June 2006, first time I landed in the Kuwait airport, as I came out, night 11 o'clock outside the airport, Oh, I was sweating. Night 11 o'clock, there was heat wave blowing. I was shocked. What is this? In India, okay, in the daytime, there is a might be heat wave, 44, 45. But in the nighttime, it become pleasant, isn't it? But in Middle East, even night 11 o'clock, the heat wave was blowing. And I was profusely sweating coming out from the airport and uh, as the days continued my company stopped transport after one month they said you have to arrange yourself then I had to go through the public transport of the Kuwait public bus just like in India we have Tamil Nadu bus, bus services every state have their own local services right so I have to use the local bus service, public transport. So while standing in the bus stop, there will be no shade, as very less trees are there in the Gulf area. And nine o'clock, eight o'clock, the sun, four o'clock, the sun will rise with full strength. And by seven o'clock, it will, if you come out on the street, the sun will be scorching, will be burning. And my office was 8 o'clock, 8.30. So 8 o'clock I have to go and wait at the bus stop. The bus will come in 10 minutes or sometime 20 minutes or sometime half an hour or even sometime 45 minutes. I have to wait under the hot sun. It was terrible, horrible. And when the bus will come, I will get down after 10 minutes to my office nearby area. Then I have to walk across, I have to cross over the foot bridge. I have to walk. That was a highway, so I have to uh, walk from one side to another side. My office was at the back side of uh, that uh, main highway. So I have to walk over the foot over bridge and I will walk and my company had two timings 8.30 to 1 then from 4.30 to 9 double shifts from day to night you will be in the office such terrible shifts were there and 4.30 in the afternoon by 4 o'clock I have to catch the bus and when I walk 4 o'clock the hot sun will be at full strength it will be burning and scorching I will be crying, Lord, I may get heat stroke. Please, the heat wave will be blowing 50, 52 degrees centigrade, the temperature. Jesus, I am all alone. I don't have any relatives, no friends. If I get sick, who will take care of me? Who will take care of me? Jesus Christ is the best shelter. He's the best shade. He's the best shield. Praise God. I remembered Psalms 121. Oh, verse 
5 and 6. The Lord is your keeper. The Lord is your shade at your right hand. The sun shall not strike you by day, nor moon by night. The Lord shall preserve you from all evil. He shall preserve your soul. He shall preserve your going out and your coming in. Lord Jesus, protect me from the scorching sun. Raise. It's hot. It's terrible, horrible. Praise God. Not a single time I became sick. And I praise God that Lord Jesus, you knew the climate situation in Middle East, in India, in North India. There will be very hot climate, 44, 47, 50, 52 degrees centigrade. And the world, due to climate, global climate change, the world's temperature is increasing. The glaciers are melting. Who is our shelter at that time? Who will be our shelter? Who will be our strength? Who will be our shade? Lord Jesus, praise God. Not a single day I became sick. Praise God. He gave me strength. He gave me strength. The uh, hot climate lasted from um, uh, June till August. June, July, August. Three months terrible heat. Jesus Christ, the shelter, the shade. Oh, the strength, the shadow. He protected me. He will protect you, my brother. He will protect you, my sister, from the terrible, horrible climatic condition, from the terrible, horrible people, cruel people, wicked people, jealous, evil people. God says in Jeremiah chapter 20, Je Jeremiah chapter 15, 1, 5, verse 20 and 21, I will deliver you from the hand of the wicked. I will redeem you from the grip of the terrible. Yes. There is a hand that is holding the world in his hands. He's controlling the world. Whose hand it is? Jesus Christ, the Son of God, the Lion of the tribe of Judah, the Light of the world, the Lamb of God, or oh, the Lily of the Valley, the Lord of glory, the Lord of hosts, the Lord of all lords, the Light of the world. He is holding your life, your future. Do not be afraid. I would like to tell in the last uh, one uh, true incidence of the great uh, saint of God, of the biggest saint of God. Uh, oh, India has been blessed with Sadhu Sundar Singh. He was a, from a Sikh background, a Sardar Punjabi. And he was about to commit suicide because his mother died at, when he was very young. He got very frustrated. And before that, he used to hate Bible. He had burned Bible when he was given in the missionary school where he was studying. He had such hatred for Jesus and the Bible. But while his mother died, he was so broken. He felt helpless, hopeless. And one night he thought he will commit suicide and he started praying is there a god is there a living loving god if he's there appear to me appear to me i want to see him he called his god his sick god he didn't come he called other gods they didn't and there was a train going at four o'clock in the morning Four o'clock was just about to happen. Five minutes before that, suddenly he saw, he thought he will jump before the express train that comes four o'clock in front near his house. He will commit suicide because of hopelessness, helplessness. What is the purpose of life? I have lost my mother who loved me. I loved my mother so much. I lost her. I lost her. When it was about to be 4 o'clock and the train was about to come. He was about to leave his house, his room, to commit suicide. There he saw wonderful, majestic, full of love, full of compassion, the Lord Jesus. And Jesus appeared to him and said, Son, I love you. 
You are mine. I gave my life for you. I love you. I have good plans, great plans, glorious plans for you. I will use you. Don't commit suicide. And he was so touched by the love of Jesus. He accepted Jesus and he began preaching the word of God to the Tibet, to the Nepal, to the oh, China border, to the Himalayas, to the mountainous, snow-clad mountain areas where very, very few people have gone, where people do not know the living, loving Jesus. And once while he was climbing the mountainous, snow-clad mountain, oh, the climate was too cold. He was feeling so faint-hearted. He was feeling so weak. He thought, oh, if I die due to the freezing temperature, feels freezing cold, nobody will know in the world that I died. He was feeling so broken. The Lord Jesus says in Psalms 34 verse 18, the Lord Jesus is very, very near to the broken hearted. When you are broken, when you are sad, when you are lamenting, when you are sorrowful, when you are depressed, when you are discouraged, the Lord Jesus, the boy, um, boy uh, the, who is full of love, Lord Jesus, is very, very near to you my brother my beloved brother my beloved sister when you feel so lonely helpless and hopeless he's very near to you psalms 34 verse 18 says the lord is very very near to the broken heart psalms 147 verse 3 says the lord jesus came to heal the broken hearted as sadhu sundar singh was feeling so broken so weak, so depressed, so disheartened, so discouraged. He saw on his right hand Jesus Christ standing. Jesus told him, my son, I am with you till the end of the world. Haven't I promised in Matthew chapter 28 verse 20? Lo, I am with you up till the until the end of the world, I am with you, my son. I love you. I love you. You are precious. You are precious. I love you. I will help you. Don't worry. You are, uh, oh, apple of my eyes. Uh, you are loved deeply. And he was so encouraged, so joyous. Uh, he, his heart was filled with matchless, uh, majestic, peace of Jesus, the prince of peace, the prince of peace, Jesus gave him peace, gave him joy, joy unspeakable, full of glory. He was filled with the joy of Jesus. Let's close our eyes and call to Jesus. He's the joy giver right now. Oh, I can feel his joy. The joyous spirit of Jesus uh, is flowing, is filling your heart. Uh, your heart might be oh, filled with sorrow, pain, uh, and sadness. Uh, his joy, his joy is flowing, is flooding your heart right now. Right now, the joy of the Lord Jesus, the joyous, joyous Jesus, joyous Jesus, the joy giver Jesus, the joy giver Jesus is giving you joy. Joy, joy, take it, take it, take it, take it. The peace of God is filling your heart. He's healing your body, He's your emotion, your uh, mental anguish, your depression, your diabetes, your blood pressure, your sciatica, your tumor, your spondylitis. Oh, yes, 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 every knee pain, joint pain, back pain. Headache is going, migraine, asthma is going uh, by the joyous, uh, comforting, healing, oh, matchless, uh, miracle working, majestic, marvelous, uh, merciful, miracle working presence of sweet, uh, wonderful Jesus. Praise Him, praise Him, praise you, Jesus, praise you, Jesus. We magnify your name, we glorify your name, we magnify your name, we glorify your name. Thank you, Lord. Lord Jesus, embrace every brother. Embrace every sister. 
kiss them lord right now let them feel your gentle touch touch of love and compassion let them feel your love touch and he fill them with your joy thank you for filling them with joy unspeakable full of glory peace amidst tribulation amidst turmoil even amidst troubles trials tortures they will have joy they will have peace thank you jesus thank you jesus thank you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus praise you jesus glory to jesus glory to jesus glory to jesus amen amen in jesus name amen